Zambia is one of the most extraordinary places remaining on Earth, and one of the last strongholds for imperiled populations of large carnivores. These species have never been more vulnerable. One of the most common methods for bushmeat poaching is snaring. Like a fishnet, snares can catch, kill, and maim whatever animal is unfortunate enough to encounter them. These snares can have devastating impacts on not only individual carnivores, but even entire packs, prides, and clans, and ultimately populations. But intensive conservation efforts have had success. Desnaring work has kept dozens of animals on the landscape, which in turn have borne hundreds of offspring. But sustainability of conservation efforts ultimately depends on local leadership. While local conservation leaders are underrepresented in conservation efforts in general, women are underrepresented in particular. Led by female ecologists within ZCP, our Women in Wildlife Conservation Training Program was thus designed to provide the mentoring, training, and opportunities. I believe education, empowerment of local people, and the strong involvement of women are all critical to the successful conservation efforts. My love for nature was born at the doorstep of Zambia Safanga National Park where I grew up. I became interested in conservation through books, stories and wildlife documentaries on TV. I became interested in conservation first when I was around 13 years old. And my case was because I was curious to learn more about something that I had seen for the very first time and that was an elephant. As a child growing up in Mpue, I heard so many stories about lions. I heard stories about how they were savage killers that just wanted to kill for the sake of killing. When I was 13 years old, I joined my secondary school conservation club. In the club, I learned so many things. I learned that lions were so much more than the killers they were portrayed to be. When I was young, I never thought women have got chances of working out in the field. Not until I met Tanjua Mwedwa. To be a successful professional in conservation requires more than academic coursework and knowledge of science. Our trainees get field experience. They get trained how to track animals and gather scientific data. They get to assist with collaring, desnaring procedures, and also doing community work. They play a major role in educating future generations. It's important to introduce children to our wildlife early so that they become compassionate and responsible in the interactions they have with these animals. The most exciting part of my work is being able to spend time with kids in the conservation club. The saying in, in a Bemba proverb goes, imitikula empanga, meaning the trees that you see growing right now are what makes a forest. So I believe when these girls understand more about conservation, then we are going to have a flourishing generation of women that know what conservation is all about. We think of the uh, program mostly as being centered around training, but all of us just being able to be visible and uh, seen as doing this work, it's already a massive encouragement to other people. As a little girl in rural Zambia, I never dreamt that my career was a possibility. But today, I'm making those dreams a reality, not just for myself, but for others.